Hello everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and today I have another Christmas card to share with you. This one's a little bit more um, advanced, it's not a fun fold, but it's really a fun one to do. I really like this card, it's so cute. And if you're not sick of the snowman season yet, um, I have another one for you tomorrow, but it's for the simple stamping of paper crafts. And it's really, really a cute one, and it's very easy if you want to make a bunch at one time. It would be really good for like sent your Christmas cards to send out to family and friends. For, so check that out tomorrow. But this one is the one I'm sharing today. So you are going to need the Snowman Season stamp set. This time I'm using this one here and he's so cute. I love the ones with the snow. It's just so cute. I love any snowman so you know I've said it probably a million times this year. And then um, we're going to use our stitched circle here and these are the stitched shapes but I am using the large in the second largest circle. You are going to need a piece to mat which is two by five and a half and then you need your card base which is five and a half by four and a quarter and then a bunch of different scraps so I'm using our um, glimmer paper a red glimmer paper some real red cardstock some Bermuda or Costa Cabana cardstock and some whisper white cardstock and then we are going to use our real red cotton ribbon and these are the this is the Let It Snow Designer Series paper that I'm using. I know you've seen me use this a ton. And then this is the Glimmer paper right here. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love that. All right, so that's everything that we're going to need for this. So let's go ahead and get started by stamping our snowman. And then we'll stamp our sentiment and stuff as well. So we're going to use the Tuxedo Black because we're going to just quickly color him with our blends but we're not going to do any fancy coloring we're just going to color him in so ink him up really good i'm stamping him in the center because i'm going to be using the die to cut him out and then we'll go ahead and stamp the sentiment also and i forgot to grab my mat is sitting right here and i didn't grab it and so the sentiment we're stamping also Hoping this season builds heartwarming memories. We're going to stamp that here. We are going to hand cut these um, for the sentiment on the front. All right, now we'll have to bring up the big shot and we will cut our little snowman out and our real red circle. So we'll try to do these both at one time. So there's our little snowman. So although this is a little bit more of an advanced card, um, it is very quick and easy actually. We are only using those for the the big shot for these two pieces right here. All right, let's go ahead and color him. And I'm just using pumpkin pie. I'm using pool party, dark pool party, and then dark pet, petal pink. So we're just coloring his nose. We're going to give him some cheeks. Because he has to have cheeks on this one. And then we're just going to color the snow. On the other card, I used a regular one of our layering circles. I didn't use any, um, I didn't use the stitched one, but I thought this time I would try the stitched one on it. And this one's a little bit smaller, so it cut off a little bit, but it's okay. It still looks really cute. So I'm going to use some wet glue. And we're going to layer him right in the center. I love the stitching, so I try to use it as much as possible. 
but I thought I'd just change this one up just a bit. All right, so let's bring our card base in. We're going to mat our designer series paper. Just use some snail here. And we're going to put that on here. And then we're going to go ahead and put our snowman on. And then we need to cut our, i got to use my larger ones. I do a better job cutting these if I have my larger ones. So we're going to cut right down the middle on this one. And we're going to separate the sentiment. It's just going to bring a little bit more interest to this card instead of just putting it on as one piece. You can even cut these separate if you feel more comfortable doing that. but Because they are kind of close together, but it's not hard at all to cut between them. All right, so we are going to also cut our our piece of um, glimmer paper, and I have to measure that. So that is about three inches, and we'll banner the ends on that. We're going to layer these up on here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to add this one. I'm going to use wet glue for this because this sometimes is a little bit harder to adhere down. So we're going to put this one on first. And then I'm going to get my ribbon and we are just going to make enough to make a little tail and I'm using a glue dot here to hold these together so I'm just going to take a glue dot and we're going to put that here and then we can hold that together and then I'm going to use another glue dot to adhere it to the card here right here and then we're going to pop up these other two and I'm going to use some mini dimensionals for this one my nails do not like these mini dimensionals they don't want to pick them up sometimes they'll curl on me but I love them because they're perfect for like something like this. All right, so we got to take all these backings off. All right, and then we're ready to put these on here. So we're going to put one here. And then we're going to put our other one. I'm actually going to move that dimensional over because I wanted a hair shorter. I'm going to move this one too. And then we're going to put this one right here. And that is it. Aren't they cute? Do you like the stitching, or can you even see the stitching, or do you like the other one that's a little bit bigger? You can barely tell the difference, but there is a little bit of one. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me a whole lot for my YouTube channel. And I hope you all have a blessed one. I'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Bye.